and pay now. Hello and welcome to another Midweek Memo. I wonder whether you can identify. I've been busy completing my online shopping for my Christmas lists, my nephews, nieces, god godkids, all the rest of it. And there's that great moment, isn't there, where you finally completed, checked out, it's done, little screen comes up, tick, your order's on its way. Now, in a sense, not much has happened, but you've got a promise. And actually, the weight comes out of your shoulders and you know you can relax because you trust that delivery company, hopefully, to bring what it is that you've ordered on the day that it needs to be brought. And so it is with the story of Advent. Long, long before the birth of Jesus, God had given a promise to his king, his king David. He said, you will always have someone on the throne. Your throne will be established forever. Now, King David's throne wasn't established forever. In one sense, his son went on it and then the kingdom broke up and in for a long time there was no one on the throne at all. But Jesus and the New Testament writers want us to understand he is that king coming, that forever king. And because we trust God, we trust his promises. So I wonder what promises of God you're holding on to now as you walk this way through Advent. Remember, we've got the promise, but for now, we wait. Just a few notices to share with you. First of all, our contemporary carols coming up this Sunday evening do arrive from six onwards. We're gonna have fire pits outside, a few stalls, some Christmas wares to have a look at and perhaps take some with you. And then we're going to have a carol service that's a little bit different. So it's the classic carols, but in a more contemporary setting. It's going to be a chance to hear the message of the gospel and some testimonies too. This is a really great one to invite all sorts of people along to, perhaps particularly people who are unfamiliar with church, who will really enjoy the accessible format and perhaps a slightly different and unexpected way of hearing the Christmas message. Next, I just want to share with you two things happening for younger people next week. On Monday, we've got Messy Church after uh, the, uh, the end of school on Monday, and that's going to be a fantastic Christmas special that Joe has got lined up. And then on Wednesday morning, we've got our Toddler's Christmas special. Uh, that's happening at the normal time at 10 a.m., and we're really looking forward to being able to share the Christmas message with all the families and kids who come along to that. Do pray for that, even if that's not for you. Thanks so much for joining us.